Good morning everyone. Let's learn little more about the each device used in Ohm's law verification. As you know in case of Ohm's law, voltage increases with the increasing current and we'll see that. Before that, we have to learn about the each device used in Ohm's law apparatus. We begin with this. As you can see small ma, this is milliameter which measures the current in milliamperes. It is a device with two terminals positive and negative. It has a range of 0 to 500 milliampere. Till here it is 100 milliampere and it has 10 divisions into it. It means that each division will have the value of 10 milliampere. Now if I turn it on and bring it to certain position in this case and it settles here 100 milliampere or if I change the values it will change. If I change the current from here, it will increase. So we should be able to read it at each value. Here it is 400 milliampere. Now this device is always connected in series with the terminal. Why it is connected in series? Because it is a current meter. Current is rate of flow of charge. It means the charges which will be released from the battery through this wire will reach here and they will pass through the emitter and emitter has to count them. Emitter has a very low resistance because the current will pass through this device. If it would have a higher resistance, more of the voltage will drop on the path and less of the current will be able to reach to the actual device. Now we come to the second device which is voltmeter. Voltmeter again is two terminal device positive and negative. The range of this voltmeter is 0 to 3 volt and here it is 0.5. From 0 to 0.5 volt it has 10 divisions means that each division will be of 0 0.05 volt. If I turn it on and bring it to certain position, it has reached to 18 division. So if it has reached to 18 division, 18 multiplied by 0 0.05 and it will be 0.9 volt. This device is connected in parallel. You can see that here there are two wires connected. One is this copper wire and one is this steel color wire, which is nichrome wire. Nichrome is an alloy and it has a higher resistance and we are using this wire as a resistance wire. And a loop is also formed. Voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the terminals of the wire because it has to measure the voltage across these two terminals. And that's why we have set up one at one end and another at the another end so that it can measure the voltage across this whole wire. Voltmeter has a higher resistance. Why? Because current from here will reach to here. Now this current has two choices to go. Either it can go through this resistance wire or it can go through this voltmeter. If the voltmeter has a lower resistance, the current will pass through the voltmeter. It will not go through this wire. In actual real situations, this wire is representing any device. It can be bulb, it can be fan, it can be television. This is just a meter to measure the voltage. So it requires very less current, only the pointer to be deflected. But the main purpose that current should go through this device. If the more current will be flowing through device, it will be a wastage. So that's why it is connected in parallel. Now we come to rheostat. Rheostat is the only device used in Ohm's law circuit which has one, two and three terminals. This does not have any positive thing in negative terminal. In this case, actually this is a resistance wire which is fastened between these two fixed terminals. This is a movable terminal and through this rod it is connected to the jockey. You can see this is a connection. So in this case, what will happen if I connect this terminal and this terminal? Actually, through this rod and through this jockey, this much of wire will be in use. If I bring it here in this condition, this much of wire will be used. So by changing the position, I can change the wire in use. 
if i connect only these two terminals in the circuit i will not be able to change the value so for changing the value one terminal here and any of these two should be connected in the circuit this is the battery for this we have used this eliminator it has a switch two terminals positive and negative and this is the range maximum 12 volt current can be passed actually the voltage which is coming 220 volt and it is converting it to the lower value in this case we can change the value we can change the range now this is a key this key has two terminals and there is a gap also so in this position there is a gap it is open circuit in this case it is a closed circuit two types of wires this is a resistance wire has a copper and this is a wire which has a higher resistance it is made up of an alloy nichrome now let's see what happens in this case when we are using it you can see the current and voltmeter value they are at fixed value now if i increase the resistance here the value of the current is decreasing here because at this situation this much of the length is in use so more voltage will be dropped here and less will reach here so it is showing less current but if i bring it here i am changing the value i am reducing the resistance here so voltage drop here will be less and more current will go there actually this is the voltage is coming from the battery and it is divided across two parts one here second here if more drops here less will go there if more drops here less will come here so it is a division and that's why rheostat is device which is used to change the current let's read one value so at this value it is showing 12 divisions 12 divisions means it will be 120 milliampere this one is showing five divisions five divisions multiplied by 0 0.05 it will be 0.25 volt and when we divide v upon i we will be able to get the value of resistance at the end of this explanation you should be able to answer that what is the least count of the given devices what is emitter voltmeter how are they connected how is their resistance why is it so which terminal has three devices what is the difference between nichrome wire and copper wire what happens when we change the value of the current in case of circuit what happens when we change the value of resistance of rheostat thank you so much